enlist out en enlist into the military when I was 18, coming out of high school because I was born and raised in Iowa, so it's like you know little farm town. So it's like you know you had the GI Bill, had all these opportunities that the military presented you, and it's like mm -hmm. okay, you know it's a way for me to help pay for my own college. It's a way for me to um, do this or that, and Honestly, with a lot of kids from small farm towns, it's a way to get out of there. Yeah. You know, they want to find something bigger. But um, I'd already committed to college, and my grandma, I mean, with all her infinite wisdom, it's like she's already she's she always preached if you're going to do something, you're going to be committed to it. So it's like, I'm like all right, no, <clears throat> I've already committed to college, so I went had that route. But then, of course, nine eleven happened. Right. And so, and I remember waking up that morning watching it I mean, pretty much the world had stopped on its axis but you know, at that time I'm like you know I, I gotta finish what I started so um I went ahead and graduated college but at that time I was I went in for criminal justice and psychology mm -hmm. and my intent was to go back go into law enforcement mm -hmm. but at that time the, the state of Iowa was in a hiring freeze there weren't a lot of law enforcement agencies hiring so i'm like you know what? i revisited the whole military again and that i still felt like it was still my patriotic duty to at least serve and whatnot and and i looked at kind of as you know that because i would i eventually wanted to be onto a swat team or a federal response team or mm. go i had bigger aspirations so mm. it's like you know, the military will give me that kind of training that i want for SWAT and a lot of these experiences, I'll get that experience, get out, get back into law enforcement and kind of move on with my life. But once I got into the military, I started like really feeling like myself in there and mm -hmm. I'd actually contemplated just making a career out of it. So, so what part of the, I guess for you that if it was like, and I'm putting words in your mouth, but if it was sort of like a, a fish taking to water, what was it about the military that provided that? Like, where did you feel like, you were so at home. What kind of what part of it? I mean, growing up, I was actually, I mean, I, I was, I wasn't quite a loner, but it's like I got along with everybody. But it's just I kind of always felt like an outcast of, in a way because I mean, yeah. when you grow up as a um, police officer's son and a teacher's aide, teacher's son, like you kind of get that kind of. All right, do we trust him? We're not gonna yeah. popular kids. Like, all right, we ain't gonna invite him to parties. He's gonna be a narc yeah. and all this and that. Um, no, it kind of gave me a feeling of belongingness. Yeah. Being able to just kind of have a kind of found a home with people that had the like minded and beliefs and whatnot. And that and that's a great thing about the military is that it's yeah. it is truly a melting pot of these different cultures, different yeah. backgrounds. Cause I mean, I was never exposed to a lot of these things. But it's like when I got there, it's like I don't know, it it just felt natural to be part of something bigger. Mm-hmm. It is pretty cool. Um, I imagine too, that uh, to, to your point, all these different people from all different parts of the U S come together and now you're all on the same team. Yeah. And we're all part of this bigger thing with history too. You know, these brothers that have sacrificed before you, that must be pretty awesome. Uh, wow. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, can you talk, maybe share a little bit about uh, your subsequent deployment and what that experience was like, and then maybe also your, your injury share, share about some, some of that. Yes, I mean, I enlisted in 2004, and by the time I got out of boot camp, and, and it was November, so I was assigned to the Fort Campbell with 101st, mm. and when I got there, um, they had just stood up the 4th Brigade, and so they we didn't really have a name yet. I mean, we were mm. kind of nameless. We were just known as 4th Brigade, 101st Airborne, and so it wasn't until about a month before we deployed in the following year that we finally got the designation for the 506th. Mm -hmm. and so um so it was when when you learn that you get the lineage the designation of that lineage the 506 because when um especially in the military community you hear the 506 it's like okay you think band of brothers that legacy that mm -hmm. they carry on so it's like you're just kind of like wow so um it's extra special i mean it means yeah. 